Weather Authority local forecast. All right, folks, we're looking at a nice night here in the desert southwest, albeit we are slightly above average. And, of course, we do have that RV World of Yuma sky cam feel and the bright lights of the city of Yuma on top of that as well. So we are uh, definitely looking pretty nice this evening. And, oh, by the way, here I am. All right, beyond this particular vantage point, we're looking at the satellite radar perspective of it all, and you can see we're pretty much in the clear. And that clearness should remain for the foreseeable future. So if you're expecting a cloudy day anytime soon, uh, don't get your hopes up on that. Now, wind speed-wise, we're not looking too drastic by any means. I mean, if anything, just very, very light touches of it. So that's about as good as we're going to get for a while in that realm as well. And as you can see, temperature-wise, we're sitting in the low to high in 50s through and through as far as the Imperial Valley is concerned. We venture over to the east side. As you can see, a little bit higher in the spectrum from the mid-50s to the mid-60s. Okay, as far as tonight is concerned, through the further north spectrum of things, as far as the Pacific Northwest goes, you can see that another system working its way through that's bringing in some snow and even some rain increments as well, which means if it's that far north, you know high pressures to the south, and that's exactly what's going on. You see the ridge pretty much in place, albeit we are going to have some cool influence to the north. That's going to Keep us somewhat in check, but keep in mind that's going to not stop the ridge from continuing to get stronger. So we'll see that in the extended forecast. Your metric has 49 degrees by 8 a.m. will be in the mid, if not high in 70s by the mid-afternoon before we start to slide those temperatures back down as we get on into the evening time. Your air quality index presented by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. We're all good as far as that's concerned. And, of course, for your polar cooling extended forecast, we are definitely looking like we are taking a bit of a rise to say the least. Keep in mind we should be the 72, 73 degree range and I don't know about you Adam, I've been watching those gas prices and it looks like the temperatures are going along with that as well as you can see we are going upward to about the mid 80s before we start to go back down again. Imperial Valley we see a similar result as well. We got the intermittent winds going along with that as well. Not as much, but certainly going to be packing at least a little bit of a punch from Thursday on through Saturday. But case in point, yes, we are taking a significant rise temperature-wise. And, of course, eventually we start going down again. But we are starting to see a little bit of that spring transition we get this time of year in the desert southwest.